Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Tangle Deep. Today we're going to be trying out the Husin, I'm assuming Sin, like synthetic, probably. Um, this class's whole deal is we have this runic crystal that uh, boosts our stats a little bit while it's next to us. It has some health. I don't know if enemies ever want to attack it, but we have, we'll have some abilities that like allow us to divert some damage to the crystal and we can move the enemy around and... I think this is this sounds like a pretty cool class. Something about it really makes me think of um, Fantasy Star. I know that the the ancient runic technology that is like magic, you know, this is a pretty common trope. But I don't know something about I don't know if it's the character sprite or what uh, makes me think of like Fantasy Star Four. All right, uh, we're gonna take. <laughs> I'm tempted to take toughness and thirst quencher. Just like I gotta stop dying, man. <laughs> Fast learn is important too, but let, let, let's, until I can manage myself a little bit better, let's lean into it a little. So it's important to recognize our strengths and our weaknesses. Figure out what's going right, figure out what's going wrong. Uh, we've had nothing but failure so far, but that's okay. It's okay to be bad at stuff, as long as you're not, like, uh, proud of it, right? We will get better. So... Number one thing I need to focus on this game is not letting my desire to do damage overwhelm me. I have a tendency to focus in too much on being the most efficient damage dealer possible, and I lose track of my health, and I don't notice that I'm getting torn apart until it's too late, so a little bit more focus. All right. This maybe sounds crazy, but do we want to start with the runic crystal? Because, like... This is a dash. I'm always talking about how I want a dash. No, of course we want three. I'm being silly. Um, so I think Crystal Shift is a good idea. Deals bonus damage. Allows us to work at range a little bit. Uh, so let's take that. And sure, Static Field. You and your Runic Crystal generate a Static Field, shocking enemies every turn. 40% of Spirit Power as Lightning Damage. So... Our weapon power matters. And our spirit power matters. Yeah, we're scaling with both. So this will be interesting. We probably want to try to get a uh, pick up static field, obviously. Try to want to want to try to get a staff, probably. A spear's not a bad thing though for uh, for the root. It's just free chicken laying on the ground. Sure, it's covered in dirt and it has a big bite taken out of it already. But why wouldn't I pick that up? All right, what do you got? Give me give me some quests. Delight the hearty meat witch loving salamander. Uh oh, I don't know how to make a hearty meat witch. Do I? I mean, I'll take the. There's no reason not to take the quest, but. Delight the java beans loving salamander. There's a lot of. Okay. A lot of hungry monsters on the third floor. It must be far away from the kitchen. Discover the carrot patch. Okay. That I can do. Unfortunately, all of those quests give uh, just money. I really prefer the quests that give job points. Oh, we should. Uh, go grab whatever's coming out of the orchard. You know, I think I died with seeds in my inventory. I'm fairly sure. Ah. Oh, what's this now? You've collected several ingredients in your adventures so far. Why not try cooking them? I know how to cook. Thank you. The fact that I'm not making any use of it does not mean I do not know how to do it. Alright, let's visit the cooking fire. So, hold on. Actually, before we do that, let's actually look at our recipes. Okay, I do know how to make a hearty meat witch. Cheese, meat or fish, and bag of grain. Well... Uh, it would be Nando, right? Who has cheese? You got, you got some cheese? This cheese is fine. I'm gonna make a hearty meat witch, and then we're just gonna keep it, and I'm gonna not eat it. We're gonna remember not to eat it. This is right, right? It doesn't... Mm, okay. Buffs damage and defense by 20% for 12 turns. Cool. So do I... How do I... Okay, I don't have to pull it back. It wasn't letting me move it, and I was getting a little concerned. Okay, so we started with Javelin. Javelin's fine. Uh, we have... We regenerate energy when it's critically low, <clears throat> as long as our crystal is out. And we have Strength, Spirit, and Swiftness bonuses. The crystal costs 40 energy. 
Crystal Shift costs 20 stamina. Alright. That's another thing is I'm not really great... I, my problem is that the, the bars are far enough away from the middle of the screen that I forget about them, basically. <laughs> okay, we have a shield. So let me, let me grab some stuff here. Ah! Hey, how's it going, Gunks? Gunks is a terrible name for a thing. So we create a runic crystal. The, oh, does the runic crystal not... Huh, it doesn't look like it should be free. Alright, so let's hit Static Field. Okay. So the Static Field, it's not that it's around, it's a field that is around me and the crystal. It's a field around the crystal and a field around me. It works twice if we're, if we're close together. That's good, that's good to know. Alright, I'm gonna take advantage of this free turn to back off and try that. Okay. I was thinking that it was going to be a thing where we'd have to, like, resummon it frequently, and but apparently it's just going to follow me around. I'm trying to see, like... Okay, so the enemies will attack it. We're figuring this out. we got to know the rules of our class before we can really apply them. Alright, so we've seen the, the follow system a little bit already uh, from carting monsters around. Huh, that guy dropped two power-ups. I didn't realize that that was possible. Well, I mean, my energies are full. There's no reason not to do this. Alright, so we need to... We need to boost our spirit power. If we got a staff, like, we're not actually tied to this weapon. The character spread is using a spear, but we don't really have to use a spear. Right? So... Yeah, let's focus on spirit for now. Another thing I have to do is I should just be less stingy with my... Um, with my flask. I'm very nervous about using it, and I already explained that a little bit, but, uh... I gotta just be okay with it. There's no sense dying with 30 flask charges, right? Uh, let's static field. Okay, and enemies will focus on the crystal a little bit. I suppose if I'm at energy... if I'm at full energy or close to full energy, I should be trying to use the crystal as a, uh as a distraction, right? Because it doesn't really... Like, if I'm at full energy, I can just resummon it. As a uh, resource efficiency thing, I should be making use of my energy when it is full. And it's fairly tough. Um, so our 1,000 job point passive is that it gains significantly improved health. I don't know exactly what that means. Uh, but hopefully it's, like... I mean, it says significant right there in the name, right? So, I don't love Hazard Sweep. That doesn't seem that important. Auto Barrier is probably fine. Yeah, stuff like this. Stuff like Photon Cannon. That's what I'm excited about. Why don't we... Ooh, that's good. Yeah, alright. We're going to focus on Gravity Surge. So we need to get to 350 JP. I think... That, uh, especially if we can find a weapon that has a little bit more range than this, being able to pull enemies away from us should really help with the, uh, the amount of attrition we take fighting in melee. Although, I mean, this obviously is also working. This seems to be a fine strategy. This sucks. This muddy river thing is terrible. Um, the mud, I think, doesn't do anything other than root you, so if you're not actually, like, being beset by enemies, I don't know that it matters very much. Yeah, we're pretty close to full energy. So how do I... 
There we go. It's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to bouncing the crystal off of walls and stuff to make it be in front of us. Alright, so the upper left is the area that I have not yet explored. And I don't want to be, like, skipping stuff, but I do think it's important that we go pretty fast. We gotta get back into, uh, back into combat with what's-his-face, the Duke. Alright, so let me try, let me try some crystal shifting, because I'm not really doing it. So, okay, it missed him. I was kind of hoping that it, because the wall was right here, it was going to have to, like, go around the wall, but that's not really how it works. So here's a question. Um, it's a pretty long cooldown. Does it try to get... It looks like it does try to get closer to me. Or you know what? It might be being drawn in by his touch the mold thing. There we go. Cover me. Alright, so that did an okay amount of damage. He's roaring with power now. I'm not going to lie. I've been more concerned about things. I'm pretty sure I just chose not to teleport back to the thing, and then I just walked over there anyway, so that feels a little silly. We're going to have to spend some time adjusting to, uh, to the crystal movement mechanics. When I level up, my crystal does not get full health. Okay. Ah. So if I know my crystal is damaged, and I also know I'm about to level up, I should summon a new crystal. Uh, to take advantage of the fact that my energy meter refills. Why am I fighting without a crystal? Alright, so what is the range on this? It's about four squares out from me. So right now I'm not really using my stamina for anything. I can't target spaces I can't actually see. And I can't uh, tell the crystal to move on top of an enemy. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty great. I'm definitely liking this. This already feels very powerful, and we're still very low level. So, okay, moving toward the crystal doesn't make it want to swap with me. So probably the best thing to do is going to be to use uh, crystal shift to move it around. Does it just mirror my movements? It looks like, yeah, it looks like mostly it mirrors my movements. So once I've shifted it away, the only way to get it back over to me is to shift it closer. Okay. We're getting it. The only reason it was coming in before was because of that, uh, that touch the fungus thing that the mold rats do. Okay. So the stairs, the proper stairs up are over there. I don't know if it's just, like, the time when I was just learning to, like, play... I hesitate to say, but it's serious video games. You know what I mean. Stuff that's not like Pac-Man. Um, or what. But, like, the, the sort of, like, Final Fantasy VI-ish music in a lot of these levels is really... It's really striking a chord somewhere deep inside me. Uh, let's cook something special. I mean, I've actually blown through my stamina completely. And I don't have a lot of cooking materials on me. Is fruit fruit something? Can I make like, smoothies or something? Am I misremembering? Two fruits, a dessert item, carrot and cheese. Well, we can do that. We can make some stew. 
Actually, carrot and cheese stew does sound kind of good right now. Restores stamina and makes you immune to negative status effects, which is the thing that carrots do. Okay, that's cool. And now we'll, uh, now we'll rest rest. I feel less incompetent already. Oh, what's this? Sleep well, champ? Looks like it's time to go our separate ways. Oh, and you can have some of these leftovers I cooked last night. Is that... Was that the f fire that just spoke to me? Oh. Well, Guzmo. I did not look around. There was a dude right there all night long, apparently. How you doing, man? <laughs> Stay safe. I know. Don't talk to me. You don't know me. I'm kind of sad that it wasn't the fire, though. That it wasn't like we happened upon a magical creature that just happened to be in the form of a campfire. Oh no! Crystal! Save me! So what's the what's the optimal way to use this, then? If I'm, ha if I'm not in a position where I think I can force it in front of me, just, like, snap it in front of me and not worry about doing extra damage? Uh-oh. Okay, so if I cast Static Field and then summon a Crystal, the new Crystal doesn't have the Static Field. It's important to learn our mechanics. Actually, I... Yeah, I totally have enough job points. So let's not do it right yet. Creates a gravity surge from your runic crystal, pulling in and rooting nearby enemies. So, okay, this it's just showing me this is the range. And then these guys are rooted. And I critted him as well on one of those hits, so he took an additional root. Yeah, this seems really powerful. I like this a lot. So we're sometimes going to get hit. Physical defense is important, and it will help us survive against the Duke. I have to assume I'm going to get hit by the Duke, right? So maybe we should take some strength, and you know, it'll increase our weapon damage. We're still doing the vast majority of our weapon, of our damage, just by punching people, basically. It's a ranged punch, but that's still a punch. Trying to get the hang of. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird to use it. It doesn't always do the thing I would like. But now, if I push it down. There we go. Okay, or he's not gonna fall for that at all. That's fine, I guess. This is cool, though. I, I think this is my favorite class so far. And I know that I'm not speaking from a huge amount of experience yet. And also, I haven't really seen what any class's potential looks like. But I'm having a lot of fun with these mechanics. Alright, there's the carrot patch. Man, we have got to start doing more damage. Alright, free money, free carrots. So this early part of the game is really easy because you're leveling up so fast that it doesn't matter if you're bothering to use your abilities correctly. So I'm gonna... do... to here, that should hit him. And then this costs 25 stamina. Okay, it's nice that that's stamina. Ah, and then it mirrors my movements when I move. So let's move it out of his thing. Um, static field? Yeah, this is pretty cool. Alright, let's go check up here. We're, we're gonna need all of the loot and resources that we can get, obviously. There we go. I'm actually... 
pretty excited to have uh, to have a lot of extra bonus health on my crystal. I think that's going to be very helpful. Oops. He moved, and I just, did, I just didn't move my cursor over. Yes, the right thing to do is never mind, I don't have the stamina for a crystal shift. Yeah, the damage output's pretty good. How much what was the damage on static field? 40% of spirit power per turn. Okay. Do I want to pick up rocket charge or We should probably try to pick up Fortify or Photon Cannon next, I think. I mean, Photon Cannon's exciting. And we haven't really come across a lot of good ranged damage sources yet, I feel like. Okay, there's not actually any way over into the unexplored area. Alright, somewhere around here... Oh, I didn't even realize that that guy, he's an Avenger and Blade Master. Uh-oh. Maybe we should have headed back? That seems possible. Alright, I'm gonna go back for my cheap heal. Here's just a random salamander. We have not really found a lot of good loot yet. Uh, poison resistance... It's not terribly exciting. Finding decent ranged weapons has been a real problem for us lately. Alright, what's exciting here? Chicken is always good. Uh, I don't have access to... What was my... I had a quest also to feed a slime that, like, was into cookies or something, right? Java beans. Yeah, I don't... I don't know how to get Java beans. Right, I don't think we've ever seen them, have we? Well, let's, uh, let's buy some of the better consumable damage items... Healing potion seems like a good idea. Alright, we'll save up money a little bit. At some point, I'm gonna find a thing that's worth buying, probably. Alright, what do you got? The spiny maze? Sure, I can discover the spiny maze. I didn't look at what the reward was, but it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, I have three things, right. So we're pretty close to Photon Cannon. Fortify is a little further away. It might be a good idea to pick up Fortify first, just to make absolutely sure we get it. You know, before the boss fight, I mean. Okay, we gotta do something about all this lightning. Static field. Oh, that didn't last very long. Got a free turn. There we go. I'm pretty sure I clicked on him. Oh, I don't have the energy for static field. Shoot. Oh, Crystal Shift does stamina dan- er, cost stamina. Alright. 
These things aren't actually aggressive, but... Ah, get out of my way. I tried to step out of the fire and he jumped in front of me. So yeah, if we can get to 450 job points, I'll feel a lot better about the fight with Duke Dirtbeak. If the crystal can just buy me a little bit of time to recover from my mistakes, that will probably be good enough. Okay, there's the one who wants the meat witch. Alright, I've managed to run myself completely out of energy. Uh, mitts. There we go. Yeah, well, you really, uh... They recover energy pretty quickly with these things. This is the this is the meat witch one, right? Yeah. Uh. Here. Come in, come in. Okay. Would you please take this? Ah, uh, he doesn't. He's panicking. I'm too close to him. He's definitely afraid of me. I guess there's no way to make him take this? Wait, what if I... Gravity surge him. That didn't work. Hmm. Well... I mean, I'm gonna take my meat witch. Fine, screw it. Okay, and that dropped the quest out of our log. So it seems like ranged enemies can choose to target the crystal sometimes. It's not just a matter of putting it between us and the enemy. We're definitely going to have to make sure that we keep up our, uh, that was a lucky crit. We're going to have to make sure that we keep up our pickup drop rate and our pickup value. There's a lot of stats to balance with, with uh, every character, it seems like. Still need 52 more. Well, we probably ought to finish mapping the place out. Alright, let's not be too stingy with the healing flasks again. So I'm gonna move the crystal to here. Then... Static, storm it. Gravity well. Okay, it, it currently dies a little bit too fast for that to be an effective strategy. Okay, good stuff. It probably is the case that we can uh, at least predict loosely what the range of the number of fountains in a, on a floor will be, so I probably should be keeping better track of that so that we can know if we're likely uh, to have missed one. Uh-oh. I wasn't really thinking about this, but of course the blades always come back. Man, I am uh, I am just about to level, and so I was trying to get through this without having to use a flask, but... Oh, I'm disarmed. Okay, well, let's run away till that stops being the case. And then maybe even a little bit more. Uh, 
Uh, I've really been taking strength very much, but our, our current strength is quite a bit higher than our other stats. Well, let's keep taking spirit then, I guess. A massive, simple codex of scavenging. What is massive? Reduce, reduces energy cost, plus 10% spirit power. Hmm. Well, I think that beats the hell out of a shield. Alright, and remember we've now leveled up, so we have a cheap heal waiting for us in town. Be wise to use it. No, oh, Crystal. There you go. Panthox is curious, not aggressive. I didn't want to fight it while we were so constrained in there. This one I'll fight. There we go. It's a little tricky sometimes to maneuver it next to enemies, especially when there's a lot of stuff around. Are we at 450 yet? We are past 450. Our Rinda Crystal now has significantly improved health. I'm going to just assume that that doesn't take effect until we summon a new one. Because probably the health level of the Crystal is set when it's summoned, right? So we should just leave this on a lot of the time. I imagine it probably falls off naturally if the Crystal dies. Apprentice's Staff of Familiars, a Glowtorch of Toxicity. Hmm. Flooded Temple, huh? Now, hold on a moment. This does fire damage. I'm wondering if a Glowtorch is maybe actually a thing that we would benefit from. We do we do lightning damage and we're going to do fire damage. Oh, we actually have a glow torch on right now. Let's equip this over that. I do wish it wouldn't close the window when you equip stuff. And we'll put this in over random short bow. Yeah, I mean it's gotta be it's gotta be better damage, right? What were we doing? We're doing like forty in the forties, okay. So we'll keep track here. Ooh. Iago Griffin. Um he's aggressive and very hard and he's lightning resistant. Lightning and shadow. Alright, well, It still does damage, right? Yeah, my crystal's considerably tougher. Alright, it's on cooldown now for quite a while, unfortunately, and we really did not do very much damage to this dude. Uh-oh, I'm starting to become concerned that I may have gotten myself killed. It does say very hard right on his name tag. Ow. Right, let's break line of sight. You know what? Gained the condition Turtle Shield. Well, he's lost some health. I can't. Can't cast the crystal movement spell in a way that will actually. There we go. I got a little damage on him. We'll strike him with lightning a couple of times. The range on this weapon is three. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I don't have enough energy. Okay, I was gonna summon a new crystal before refilling my energy. 
King Bloodtooth the Craboid. Well, that's a lot of money. Oh, can I... Are we allowed to just, like, dump a rumor? Yes, abandon that. Okay, now will I get one? The light's the Tangle Deep Curry Loving Fungal Toad in Cedar Caverns 4. Uh, no thank you. Okay, pulverize some fungal toads. Absolutely. Reward slingshot. I mean, that's not awesome, but fine. I'll take it. So let me make sure that I have the right stuff equipped. Right now I have Guile and Swiftness from my Spectacles, which is actually not terribly useful, right? And I don't know how Bag of Stones' damage scales, so... Hard to know if this is a good way to go. Well, I guess none of it, I mean, none of it really sticks out, right? Uh, Tent is a 500 gold heal, which is not like the worst thing ever, but it's not awesome. This does damage based entirely on swiftness and has a higher weapon power. But I've been picking up spirit, not swiftness. Still, it has a higher weapon power. Yeah, it's considerably higher. We'll at least try it out. So let me swap that in over the slingshot. Freeze Vial, that sounds pretty good. Uh, Butler Spell, that sounds okay. Okay. We are at 203 JP. So the question is, when do we want to switch classes? I don't think that this is, like, terribly important. I do think that we lose our advanced passive when we uh, when we switch. But honestly, I think we'd be okay without it. I don't think it would be the end of the world. Hmm. Well, we should probably pick up charge. Let's get charge and photon cannon. And I mean, I guess there's no reason not to get auto barrier. Yeah, then we'll, we'll think about swapping things up then. Alright, also let's remember to visit the orchard, get free food. Okay, I'm like, pretty much ready, right? So he healed back to full, that is crappy. No, don't move in. Like, why can't I just attack from right here? That didn't hit him. That hurts. That <laughs> hurts a, a fair amount. Well, I mean, we're getting him. It's working kind of slowly. And I am on cooldown. Well, we can run from him a certain amount. He really does a huge amount of damage. Alright, while we've got a little bit of time... Banana Bunch will give us some some health and also the stuff we need to resummon and use more of our skills. Okay, not enough apparently. Shoot. So he's only at 30% health. I 
could do some of this stuff. Yeah, sure. Damage and slow enemies. I'm poisoned. I'm just going to stand and fight, I think. Come on, die. All right. Mint fat brew. Yeah, and so you didn't even drop anything cool. To be perfectly honest, it kind of feels like I should just run away when I get into fights like that. And when I see a tough boss, because there really isn't a reward for fighting them, you know? Hmm. I don't really want to walk through the lava. Okay, actually, I want to go this way, it looks like. So we do have a monster mallet now, and I... You know what? I should probably go after that bandit. Well, I guess we're dealing with this first. I oh, we have to get into less than 15%. Stupid Aracudas. Alright, uh, Monster Mallet. There we go. Don't you eat my bandit. Okay, good. Let's go drop this guy off at the ranch. <laughs> It's kind of horrifying, though, right? We're just gonna put him in a pen with this electric slime and these aracudas, and we'll leave him there. Here, I brought you a guy. So, Beast, Jelly, and Bandit, Plunderer and Aracudas are very playful with each other. They're a real handful at feeding time. Plunderer tricked Aracudas into giving Plunderer all its food. That seems like it probably wouldn't be that difficult. So, are there any other... Okay, no, nothing new. Alright, extra damage against bandits is probably going to be helpful against the boss, and also... The bandits are definitely, like, a cut above a lot of the other enemies. So it's good for us to have a way to deal with them. I'm just gonna take that, honestly. Alright, we need more time. Do I have any items that are good enough to be worth putting in the thing? I don't think so. We're just like, we're not finding a lot of exciting stuff. I really want Photon Cannon. So we do actually seem to be doing less damage, right? Yeah, it's pretty comparable. This doesn't do anything on crits, while this does. Let's try the crossbow out. Okay, well the crossbow is definitely doing more damage, but also... Um, it's two-handed, so I don't get to use my Codex of Scavenging. Yeah, you know what? I'm fine with that. Also, I really like that it remembers what you had equipped, if you were one-handing before, and puts it back in your hands when you unequip your two-handed weapon. That is a small quality of life thing that really, uh, really makes me con it makes me feel like the developer actually played their game a little bit, which is not always a feeling that I have. And obviously, that's ridiculous. But a champion plar plarbus. Whoa. Okay. So static field's like pretty good. As far, as far as abilities go, this has been fantastic. 
All right, so there's a thing from a quest here, but it's not... It's not like anything fancy, right? It's just something I had to kill. I'm pretty sure. All right, maybe every enemy could back the hell up. Simple Codex of Toxicity. It's very similar to the one we're, uh, we're wearing right now. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just feel like this class feels powerful. And it might just be a general me getting better at the game thing. But this this feels really uh, really pretty uh, pretty good. Okay, we found a tree, or we found uh, the seeds of a tree. We should definitely make sure we get back to town and drop that off. A kunai. One ninety-seven weapon power deals extra damage with consecutive hits on the same target, but it's a knife. I assumed, you know, the kunai. Sort of the the popular conception of it is as a throwing weapon, right? So we have enough JP for the photon cannon. I'm very interested in that, and we should probably start like trickling stats back in here. Yeah, those quests that only give like a hundred gold, hundred and change, uh, are starting to look really anemic rewards-wise, because we're getting a hundred gold out of like everything, everything we touch, basically. What a weird little. Does this just run? Okay, no, it does not run all the way around. But we have drained all of our stamina exploring this. Probably an okay time to just keep eating bananas. Okay, this is the guy, right? He's rated tricky, so that's not going to be quite as bad as very hard. Okay. This is another one of those situations where we kind of need our... Uh... Oh, I'm rooted. That makes sense. So we're low on stamina, we have plenty of energy. Is this... this is stamina. I'm disarmed. Uh... That didn't fire. Does being disarmed prevent me from... No, okay. I wouldn't have thought so. So 87 damage, pretty considerable. I do not, in fact, have the stamina for this. Please die. Okay, lots of money. Um, we are one XP short of leveling. Yeah, I was going to say, did I not get a, a stat up on that level? Well, I mean, I think it's right to just keep taking spirit. Maybe I need the physical defense. Yeah, we'll take the defense. I do, I, like, I would love to actually survive once. So there's a whole, like, alternate path, huh? Well, I guess let's... Forge on. Maybe we won't see Dirk du or Duke Dirtbeak after all. I have no idea how this works. Uh, I'm gonna snap my crystal over to here. So 
So summoned bone crabs. I know how that goes. There is a summoning boss, or mini boss, somewhere around here. Champion Commander Fang Lock. Wow, that dude is trying a little bit too hard. Listen, I get the appeal of an edgy name. Okay, I was 13 once too, but at a certain point it's just silly. You're making yourself silly. Which I don't think is what you were going for. Well, we're definitely seeing some new enemies. Oh. What did that guy do? He used Water Shot. Oh no, the Floriconda used Vine Pole, is what happened. Uh. Hmm. Well, I think we probably should have flasked already. This thing is considerably tougher than I was expecting. King River Spirit won the Defiler. Ooh, that's new. Treasure Hunter. Well, it seems like they might have killed my crystal. Oops, I turned off Fortify instead of pressing Photon Cannon. Man, I do not want to have to deal with all these enemies at the same time. Yeah, I'm not really doing a lot of damage to him. Ow. 70 is a considerable portion of my health. Alright, we need to uh, we need to take this situation fairly seriously. I'm kinda terrified. So let's Lightning Brew. Keep the flask rolling. Alright, turn on fortify. My crystal is already down a quarter of its health. Yeah, this thing is a serious boss. He's physical resistant. It's a problem. Photon cannon's good, it does a lot of damage. I don't have a food item running. Ow. Shoot. So this will pull them to me, which is not really something that I want. Okay, my flask fell off. Let's keep this running. I'm gonna die. Uh... I need a scroll of water protection. Unfortunately, I don't think I have access to that. Alright, big healing potion. A second river spirit. River spirits are turning out to be a real problem for us. Alright. There's a chance that I can survive long enough to get out of here, right? Shoot. Nope, there isn't. Uh, I need CC or a teleport or... Rocket charge. I don't have the stamina. Uh, I think I'm doomed, right? Like, how do I deal enough damage to not die here? Well, they stopped hitting me for a second. That's good. I need for my I need to survive until my full buff wears off. I mean it's it's all gonna come down to whether or not my teleport works. 
It'd be really, really cool if I could kill one of these guys. All right, this is a free turn. What do I do with it? I right, just attack. I don't really have the option to do anything else. My regen flask is still running. I can't eat anymore. Do I have another healing potion? I'm. I, you know what? I think I do. Ooh. Okay, that was my free turn. Now we're gonna use the charm. Please work. Please have worked. I need to survive for three more turns. Okay, it did work. He stopped attacking me. Come on. Oh, I have eight health. Hey, Percy. I could really use some assistance. All right. Well, that is definitely a situation where we would have died before. Ooh, look at the quality of that. Short bow of vengeance and frog slaying and sparks. Some crab in an old amber station has it. I will definitely take this quest. I need that item. I don't even care about the quest reward, frankly. All right, we need stuff that restores health. We also need these items. I have a thousand money. I'm going to take that. Potions are really, really valuable. We haven't been using chocolate, but I would like to use chocolate. Right, you have a hood of focus. Ooh, this is good. Let's definitely take that. And then here's a bunch of garbage I sold him. Or her, probably. Alright, bandages are good. Unstable concoction. I haven't been using these, but they probably are worth using, right? All right, we're going to be ready when we get back down there. All right, let's go drop off the seeds we picked up. Okay, I just had the one. That's good, though. <laughs> we're getting a little bit of persistent progress now. Okay, when we come back, we're going to want our crystal to be below us. Okay, I think that was good. I do still want to kill it. I just want to kill it on my terms. Alright. Do not back yourself into a corner. Very important. Start running the flasks now. Fight's gonna be hard. Bog Frog, you are really screwing this up for me. I was hoping one of the others would wander into it. Alright, uh, you are probably gonna die soonish. Let's try to get down to just one enemy, huh? Ah, uh, static field's not available yet. Alright, I probably don't need to rocket jump, I just need to move normally. That didn't work at all. Okay. Let's keep the health coming in. It's not a desperate situation right now. Oh, did I kill- did he die? Okay, good. So now it's just me and this boss. What's going to be the best way to approach this? Ooh. Okay, that did some damage. Yeah, this guy does so much damage. This guy is tougher than Duke Dirtbeak, but we are getting to face him alone, which is nice. Uh, no, I should not have anything else equipped. Increases parry chance. 
Can I parry his attack? It's like magical. I'm not 100% sure what all of the rules are. Alright, hopefully that will not kill me. Ah, that's right, moving this way, move the uh, crystal away from him. Just gonna let my flask tick here. Wait, why am I losing health? I'm definitely not getting hit by lightning. Oh, I was getting hit by water shot despite the fact that he definitely could not see me. Uh, rocket charge requires more stamina than I have. You know what? I think we should leave, maybe. Let's leave. So he's got to make it down here. This guy is the boss of this area. I'm sure he would drop something really cool. But I do not think that there's any chance that we can defeat him. I want treasure. Oh, that's a dead end. Okay. Break line of sight. Well, we're not going to be able to stay out of his line of sight forever. Kind of seemed like he stopped following me. Well, a, a scimitar and a very, very small amount of gold. Okay. Let's reflect for a second here. Where is he? He still has 85% HP. No, never mind. I was going to say, is there any chance we can do this? But no, there is not. Alright, let's just leave. You know, these uh, side paths sometimes have enemies that are far tougher than, uh, than the enemies you have to face. I think that's what we ran into here. Difficult optional boss for people who are a little bit better at the build and the inventory management and stuff. That's fine. We will just press onward. The way forward is on the other side of this lava. Well, okay. Campfire roasted cheese and cheese flan, huh? Just energy and stamina, just stamina. Okay, so we did not get any new health food. Well, we can trickle health in a little bit. We don't, like, need a ton. And we only have to walk across lava once. Okay, I'm extremely glad not to be cornered on top of the lava anymore. And this is the right way? Alright. I have to say, I'm pretty, pretty happy with the outcome of me recognizing that that boss was not going to be doable and, like, managing to survive that encounter. I think that represents some progress. Not enough progress, but it's a good start. I don't have the energy to do the, uh... Lightning thing. Alright. Yeah, there's potentially more stuff up here. We definitely need to keep getting stronger. Silent Brawn. Regenerating... So he he's a champion, but he's not the source of the lightning bolts that we're seeing. Hmm. We're in pretty bad shape. Alright, managed to put this in front. The photon cannon is an energy attack. A lot of the other stuff we have is stamina based right now. All 
Alright, see, most bosses are, like, considerably easier. Alright, it's just uh, an upgraded version. Codex is worse than Spellbook. There he is. Okay, he can't be that tough. Okay, well, he's making a poison cloud, but it's not on me. So I guess it's fine? I'm a little nervous. Why don't we go ahead and just potion up anyway? Ah. Uh, well, I'm gonna get hit by lightning or eat poison. And this requires too much stamina. No, it does not. I have... I totally have enough stamina to get out of there. You are very inconvenient. Oh. Do I want to just pass the turn and hope that he walks into frame? Okay. That was good. We got a root. A little lucky crit there. Alright, the poison cloud is spreading rapidly. Let's just wait that out. Okay. Elm seeds. Good. Raymond. Uh, well. I like plus five CT gain. Doesn't have quite as much defense as the hide armor, but. Being able to take more free turns is probably a good thing. And hopefully the, uh, the difference in defense is not so bad that we'll get completely slaughtered. Besides, how can you not equip the Raven? Everybody loves it. Oh. Just walking right into enemies? Whatever, it's fine. Well, at least we're getting a lot of money. Is it worth equipping running shoes over one of my things? Because these give extra CT, right? That's not a lot. Honestly, these spectacles just, they feel pretty bad, but we aren't picking up any other accessories. Alright, we're almost back to Duke Dirtbeak. Try to burn these guys down super fast. Hey, I rooted him. That'll show him. Get out of here, Panthox. Well, we find a lot of sparkling treasure, we find a lot of champions, but I think this game has a, um, a small problem with the loot. Like, there's a ton of it, but most of it's not exciting. The vast majority of the time when I pick up an item, I'm not even interested in looking at it, right? I don't know, it's a tough problem to solve, but it's definitely a problem. Alright, so we picked up an apple or two. Should I... I should probably just... These things that only restore a very small amount of stats... Um, you have to do kind of like, I don't know what the opposite of attrition is, but I think, you, you know, you have to kind of go that style. I guess the other thing you could do with them right is cook. And it's true that I did not check the cook fire last time I was in town, which is a mistake without a doubt. Let's 
See, why doesn't it push forward? That's weird. Oh, we're tearing through this guy's health pretty fast, at least. Well, I can't quite hit him with the photon cannon at this angle. We just jab him. And then when he steps forward, we give him the cannon. A glowing lucky frost ring. Now see, that sounds promising. Plus energy, plus water damage dealt. Chance to find extra gold. I mean, spectacles really are not impressing me, so. What was the other thing we picked up there? Jump boots of agility. 10 swiftness, all movement abilities are extended in range by one. I don't think that's terribly useful. Uh, rocket charge already seems to go as far as we wanted to go, like... A knife of frost and some milk. I assume one keeping the other warm, because otherwise we definitely should not drink that milk. All right, another 96 JP. We're definitely getting close to the point where it might make sense to change classes or just to talk to the job points uh, or the weapon mastery guy. Ow. What's wrong with you? Alright, so this is Dirtbeak's den. What was this? The Spiny Maze. I hate the Spiny Maze. And the little spinies are worthless? Yeah, we're not doing this. But stepping in there was worth a quest, so. Um, I guess we're ready to do it. Obviously, we will uh, head back to town here. Yeah, let's go back to full. No sense holding on to the gold if we're just going to die, right? Chicken dinner seems good. We have some Choco Bars already. I doubt we'll have enough time in the fight to go through all the Choco Bars we have, so... And she has yeah, she hasn't gotten anything new in yet. We should probably take these Caltrops, actually. <laughs> nope, sorry, I'm trying to walk this way. So there shouldn't be any new food to harvest, yeah. All right, we do have a bonus uh, to damage against brigands this time. At 383 job points, I believe it takes 500 to learn his stuff. Yeah. That sounds pretty useful, actually. Well, if we survive the encounter with Duke Dirtbeak, maybe we'll be able to find out if it's cool or not. Okay. So we do have this campfire roasted meat and the campfire roasted cheese, both of which are not um, effect over time foods. They just work. The scroll of poison protection might... Maybe? Might be relevant. These last a pretty long time, don't they? Yeah. All right. You know how we do. We make fun of the dude's nesting urges. I, I want to say, I'm blown past the text on a lot of stuff, like even the item descriptions, but I do think the game has really, really excellent writing. So, let's... I mean, like, I think I was right last time that it's probably important to just kill some of his henchmen as quickly as possible. Uh, don't want to do freeze vials. I, I should probably save the freeze vial for when I can hit more people for the slowing effect. Ooh. Oh, it, okay, I don't really have a lot of control over this. I'm going to switch to the crossbow. Mm, I hate that. Dang 
damn it, they killed my crystal immediately. I was just about to use it to lock them in place, actually. So let's put it right here. We'll distract them. We'll blast this guy with our laser again. Okay, he cannot be killed. I just took, I just took damage, like actual damage, for the first time. Uh, we're in trouble already. Can I... I can get out of all of the effects. No, I cannot. The charge just stopped. I really expected it to take me further. We don't have a teleportation scroll. This is a free turn, though. Free turn during which we can step down and then we can move this way on our actual turn. Flask is still running. Okay. Lightning Brew. What happened to me? Why did I get swapped? Dirk Doopy. Dirk Duke. Duke Dirtbeak. Words is hard. Uses run through. Okay, so I'm assuming that moved him into my space and then moved me. Alright, uh. The regen Flask is still running. So we better use this Campfire Roasted Meat or we will die. It's actually, probably still gonna die. And I can't aim my, uh, charge out of here. I just. I need more ways to move around, man. Alright. This is, it's not going to matter. I'm going to take 6,000 damage. Like, I just couldn't, I couldn't kill this guy. He would not take damage. And yeah, if we're, if we're taking five attacks per turn, like the, the fight's already over. Okay, well that time it moved me through. So it doesn't charge through enemies all the time. It did charge through an enemy earlier, didn't it? When we were on a lower floor? Maybe I killed him with it? Maybe it never even happened. All of those things are possible. All right, we're too full to eat more. We're bleeding to death. We're regening, but we have no health. I'm gonna die again. Man! And I can't summon my crystal for two more turns. Uh, what do I have as far as... Okay, I do have this. <laughs> he moved into the opening. I'm trapped. Well, this bomb is going to kill me. But... I can throw a thing at them. Can you defl can you parry a bomb? Let's find out. It would appear that uh, if you can, I failed to. Yeah. I had a really good feeling about that. I felt like it was going really well, but unfortunately, a significant part of my gimmick is that crystal, and the crystal dies in a single turn of being attacked by all those guys. And I like I really tried to kill that that uh, senior alchemist, but focusing a lot of attacks directly on him was insufficient. I do not know. I do not know what we are going to do. Well, obviously, that's going to be it for today. Come back next time. I'm going to maybe watch some videos. <laughs> Come back next time to a more informed SB. Definitely kicking that dude's beak down his neck. For real. It's gonna happen. And we'll see you then.